So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. Hello beautiful people, my name is Ashley and I'm the owner and creator of Rekindled Kindled. For those of you who subscribe, welcome back to the channel and for those of you that are new, welcome. Today's video is going to be all about where I purchase and find all of my candle making materials and shipping supplies. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. So the first candle making supply that I want to talk about is where I get my wax. There are two places I purchase my wax from. Primarily, I purchase wax from the Flaming Candle. And the reason I opt for the Flaming Candle is because their shipping is much cheaper than anywhere else. So I typically buy my, um, my 45 to 50 pound boxes from the Flaming Candle because if you can uh, compare the prices of the 45 to 50 pound boxes shipping them to me on any other website it's extremely affordable in comparison but I also purchase my Tarte wax so the the Golden Brands 494 I purchase that wax from Candle Science because I typically buy that in about 10 pound bags because I don't uh, sell as much wax melts as I do candles like I was saying I purchase my wax from both the flaming candle and candle signs um, but if it's going to be a larger box anywhere from 45 to 50 pounds i choose the flaming candle because their shipping is more affordable so the next candle making supply that i purchase pretty often are wicks i buy anywhere from eco 2 to eco 16 and then now i'm also trying out the cd wicks when i purchase my eco wicks there is a large variety of places that I get them from because they're often sold out across many sites because many people use Eco Wicks. The first place I used to get all my Eco Wicks from were Candle Science and I would be able to get them in any size. But typically when Eco Wicks are sold out through Candle Science, I can find them on the Flaming Candle and I can also find them through Pro Candle Supply. So those are the three places where I can typically find my eco wicks. But CD wicks aren't really sold through every candle supply store is something I've noticed. So when I'm buying CD wicks, I can buy those through triple A candle supply. So that's where I typically get my um, CD wicks. And because I use soy wax, I probably should have said that earlier. The waxes that I buy are Golden Brands 415 and Cargill C3 and because uh, of those specific waxes that's why I stick to Eco Wicks and CD Wicks. So pertaining to wicks, I also buy wick stickers and wick bases. The wick stickers that I buy, I most recently bought them from Candle Science and I bought a roll of a thousand of them. But before that, I used to buy them from Triple A Candle Supply, and uh, I would buy them by the hundreds. So most recently, I bought them from Candle Science, but before that, I used to buy them from Pro, Pro Candle Supply. And both of their wick stickers are extremely effective. I've never had issues with them, so I would recommend buying from either one. If you want to source a larger amount of stickers, Candle Science is where I got mine. If you want a smaller amount, I think Candle Science also sells the smaller amount, but I'm not sure. And then in addition to that, wick bases. I purchase all of my wick bases through Candle Science. So I use wick bases because my four ounce jars, they're a lot smaller and when I trim them, I can often reuse the other half of the wick to wick another jar. So if you're someone who wants to reuse a wick or use the second half of a wick, it's extremely important that you find wick bases because you don't want to just put a wick in a jar without a base on it because that prevents the jar from burning too low um, when you light the wick. So wick bases through candle signs. You can also get wick bases on Amazon but the ones that I bought, I didn't really love them. Their bases were a lot smaller in size, like in diameter. They were much smaller than the ones that I got through Candle Science. And I prefer the wider bases because I buy the larger wick stickers. 
When it comes to purchasing fragrances, I have tried out many candle suppliers. So I have a total of 12 cents at any given time, but throughout the entire year, I can have about 24 cents, maybe maybe 26. There are two that I kind of cycle out in a short period of time just to give them their shine. Um, but I think in total, I have 26 cents when I'm thinking about the fact that I have um, uh, four fall and winter scents combined, and then I have four summer scents, four spring scents. So that's a total of 12, and then my eight typical scents, and then four that I cycle through. So that's about 24, maybe 26. So a large portion of my scents I get from Candle Science. 12 of my scents, and those are often blends. I blend quite a bit of my scents with two to three fragrances. So of those, 12 of my scents I get from Candle Science. And I never have issues with Candle Science scents. They're always really strong and and they work with really well in my opinion. In the soy wax that I use, I've never had an issue. And then the second most likely place that I'm going to buy my fragrance oils from um, is Aztec. So uh, it's known as candlemaking.com. At Aztec, I buy 11 fragrance oils. So first I shop at Candle Science. I buy 12 cents from there. I buy 11 cents from Aztec. And then there are a couple other places that I get my scents from. I buy two to three cents from the Flaming Candle. Um, I think their fresh linen scent is one of them. Their basil, sage, and mint and their fresh bamboo. Those three scents I always get from the Flaming Candle. I love how they smell. I love how they perform in blends. Perfect. Um, there's one scent that I get from Brambleberry, but Brambleberry is a pretty expensive site. That specific scent, I think for the one pound bottle, I spend like 40 something dollars plus shipping, it's 50 bucks. So, um, but I love that scent so much. I think it's called Island Escape. And because it's so pricey, I like to blend it with another scent to kind of, you know, get it to go a little bit further, but it also doesn't like water down its potentness because the other scent um, that I get from New York Scents, I buy one scent from New York Scents and they're both titled Island Escape. I just like how they blend together to give me the final scent. So I buy 12 cents from Candle Signs, 11 cents from Aztec, three cents from The Flaming Candle, one cent from Brambleberry, one cent from New York Scents. I buy one cent from Cal Candle Supply. Their Fresh Cut Roses is probably one of my all time favorite rose scents. It's uh, the scent that I use in my Rosemary. It is such a great rose, like it smells just like roses. <laughs> so um, that's one that I get and I think there's one more, no, two more places. I get a scent from Lone Star, my sunflower scent, and I get another scent from Wellington, which is not as big as all the other places, and I get sunflower from there as well, and then I blend. I blend three scents to get the sunflower scent that I sell in my store. Um, so I think that would be all of the places that I get my scent from. I think that's a total of five places, six places. And um, I think it's extremely important to try out a bunch of different scent places and not stick to one because it, you never know what scent you're missing. So the next material that I wanted to talk about are my jars. Primarily my jars are repurposed. They're sourced through places like eBay and Facebook Marketplace and all those other reselling sites. But when I get to the point where I need to buy a jar, I stick to recycled jar. That's why I market my um, business as both repurposed and recycled jars. So if I need to buy 100% recycled glassware, I do it through Glass Now. It's a it's a glass selling site that has a section specifically for 100% recycled glassware and specifically for candle making. So. Um, very few of my collection does have recycled glassware from glass now when I can't seem to source uh, a large amount of repurposed glassware. And finally, before I move on to where I source a bunch of my shipping materials, 
for my wax melts. I did mention earlier that I get my wax through um, Candle Science, but uh, I also get my um, warning stickers through Candle Science as well. In addition to that, all of my wax molds, because I don't use clamshell, you know, that's a lot of plastic. Um, I use molds, and the molds that I use for my wax melts, I um, get them through Amazon. So I have a bunch of different shapes and sizes of wax melts, and the molds that I use to get those, I get through Amazon, in addition to the packaging. Um, I used to use glass line bags, and glass lined paper and then wax lined boxes but I transitioned to a craft bag that has like a cellophane or it's labeled CPP um, seal so everything is biodegradable in in reference to my wax melts again one more thing before I move on to shipping my labels all of my labels I print at home by myself um, specifically the labels that go on the front of the jars and the wax melts. I buy all my labels through Avery. If you watched an earlier video, I'll put a card in of me doing a candle supply haul. I buy about 300 to 400 labels every time I buy and they're all from Avery. Additionally, warning labels, I get all of them on Amazon in um specifically for candles so my wax melt labels i get from candle science and um candle warning labels i get from amazon on to shipping supplies so if you are a candle maker and you plan on shipping your products you will need a ton of shipping supplies primarily shipping boxes I get my boxes through Uline and cable ties and more. If I am buying a regular craft box, I purchase those through Uline. If I am buying a folding craft box, I buy those through cable ties and more because they're just a little bit more affordable than the ones over at Uline. In addition to that, I buy recycled craft paper to stuff and layer my boxes through either Eco Enclose or Amazon. Eco Enclose is a, is a site that I'll talk a little bit more about because I do buy a large portion of my shipping materials through them. Um, additionally, from Amazon, I buy recycled tissue paper and um, pliers. Pliers for squeezing the wick bases when I need to, to rebase a wick. So more about Eco Enclose. Eco Enclose is a eco-friendly site that specializes in biodegradable and recycled packaging. It's a site that I found out about uh, a couple months ago and I buy a large portion of my shipping materials through them because they're committed to eco-friendliness. Uh, I buy my shipping labels through them. They have 100% recycled craft shipping labels, and I absolutely love them. They have biodegradable cello tape. I go back and forth between water-activated craft tape and biodegradable cello tape, but either way, they're both really awesome, and I get them both from Eco Enclose. Additionally, I have tried out their uh, recycled tissue paper. It's a little bit thinner, but I want to stop using tissue paper altogether and just stick with craft paper. That's something that I'm trying to figure out how to do and make look really nice and presentable. Finally, with shipping, if I'm ever using plastic or packing peanuts, it's because those are things that I reuse. So when I order from sites like the Flaming Candle, Candle Science, Aztec, they often send packing peanuts, which is perfectly fine because the packing peanuts they use are 100% biodegradable, and I just store them and reuse them in future orders. Additionally, when I get bubble wrap from, let's say, people who are sending me jars, I reuse those in future orders as well, because the first part of recycling is reducing, then reusing, then you finally get to recycling. So that's something I like to do as well. 
So the three final things I wanna talk about for my candle making business are my printer. I'm pointing over there because I can see my printer. I, I, my printer is a Canon Pixma. I've had it for about a year and a half now, the life of my business, and it performs pretty well. Um, it was extremely affordable and I print all of my labels on it, all of the labels for all of my, um, my candles and my wax melts. I print every single one of them and the printing is really nice. Like it's a, it's a really good image. So I get my printer from Target. And I got my all of the ink that goes into the printer from Target as well. All of that's pretty affordable. And then finally, my camera that I take my product photography on and that I record my videos on. I use a Panasonic Lumix and it's a pretty affordable camera and the quality is really great as well. That is me talking about where I purchase all of the supplies for and materials for my small business, ranging from candle making supplies to shipping supplies. If I missed anything, please comment what you're interested in down in the comments below and I will try to address it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you're interested in sticking around, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you all so much for joining me and, and staying the entire video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.